Excellent. Okay, he's got the first question. Stuart, that seemed like a really absorbing day at Test cricket. It was great to watch around. I, I wonder how frustrating it was for England that partnership at the end, it just seemed to bring things back a bit in Pakistan. Yeah, frustrating is not a word. I mean, in Test cricket, you expect partnerships. So um, I think the important thing is that we didn't break to that partnership. We didn't start chasing wickets. We didn't start trying magical deliveries. We just stayed patient and held. And um, with 19 overs to the new ball, with only a lead of 50, we're delighted with our positioning because we know the new ball um, has quite a big effect on this wicket. And it was important we didn't chase um, wickets when the ball stopped spinning as much in that middle period. So. Um, yeah, we're, we're in a decent position. I think the first hour tomorrow is going to be a holding hour. It's not going to be hugely exciting. I think it will be both teams trying to get into the day and then the new board will be a, a massive hour in the day. As a rally, what you're saying from Pakistan's point of view, they reckon if they get a lead of 150, that's good. Anything more than that uh, is really good. With their spinners, you can see their points. You can see why they would have to retain some confidence. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, I think today the wicket played at, at its flattest. Um, I don't know history of this wicket. I don't know if it gets flatter and flatter or it will turn more. But um, I think it's going to be a, a tight test match either way. You've always got the score, scoreboard pressure whether you're chasing 150 or, or 300. Um, but if the wicket continues to play um, like it did today and get better, then we should be able to chase down 150. But um, if it starts turning again, and we'll be interested to see what that new ball does, we've got to keep them to as little as possible. Well, yeah, it suited your style this morning anyway to track for the tag. Was that a tip decision that's what you were, you were going to do? Uh, no, it was, it was more of a personal decision, sort of looking how difficult it looked to defend against the, the pressure of um, the quick turning ball, especially last night, the last half hour was. Um, quite difficult to, to watch your teammates out there because it looked really hard test cricket. Um, so I thought my best option would be to, to try and manoeuvre the field and, and counter punch really. Um, Belly played exceptionally at the end so he soaked up a lot of pressure which allowed me to, to expand my, my game a little bit and once I hit a couple of boundaries everyone seemed to move out and I, I could pick up some singles and twos. So. Um, it was a, a personal decision to, to give it a bit of a go um, with the amount of turn there was the night before um, and, it, and it paid off and to, to, I think that lead was, was pretty important actually. Um, lunch came at a pretty bad time for us because we had a bit of momentum there. Um, but no, we, I think we've had a good day but I mean this, this has been an amazing test match so far. It's, it's one for the, the purists I suppose. It's been um, quite slow cricket but very intriguing. Stuart, I understand you got sledged by a Pakistani taxi driver last night. In your mind this morning, you were hitting their bowlers all back? Uh, no, not so much. I mean, he, um, he was pretty confident that they were going to destroy us, but um, I had different views. But yeah, I mean, um, I keep thinking when I go sort of leave the ground at the end of the day that oh, tomorrow is a huge day in this test match. Tomorrow, we'll, tomorrow evening, I'll know what's, what the result will be. Whereas I keep getting to the end of the day and. Um, I'm no clearer, so it really can go either way again coming into the fourth day. Um, we've shown a lot of fight today, I think we've shown a lot of fight throughout this test match. Um, but I say tomorrow is huge for us. That first 19, if we can hold and not let them go anywhere and then, and then fire up with a new ball, um, we we'll, can put ourselves in a great position. Stuart, the crowd grew as the day went on. Was it nice to play in front of the crowd? Because what you're used to, you know, and it's been pretty quiet up to now. It has, yeah. I mean, the Barmy have been brilliant throughout and um, they've kept us going nicely. But the first morning of a test match, um, we could hear Bumble commentating on the first day. So uh, we had to ask the umpire to turn the speakers down. But um, yeah, it was, it was great to have a bit of a crowd in today. I think um, credit to the, the stadium to let the fans in for free because I think it built up the, the atmosphere and um, it was quite lively towards the end, actually. So hopefully that will be the same tomorrow and, and we can give them a great day's cricket. I think Mon Monty bowled really well, yeah. I mean, he's, uh, I think the different angles been important with, with their right-handed batsmen because um, he can trap them on the crease and, and get the LBWs involved. So, um, no, it's, it's great. He's, he's sort of built with confidence throughout the Test match. I'm, I was sort of speaking to him the morning of the Test match. He said it felt like his debut because it had been Cardiff 09, I think, was his last Test match. So, um, he was obviously nervous the first day, but today he grew and grew. Uh, and I think he's going to be important 
a holding them tomorrow and then and then attacking them later on. But I mean, one thing we have to keep in mind, and we've been telling ourselves all day, we're two from their tail, and we know with that new ball we can we can mop them up if we need to. Is it, it's his first test of two and a half years. And I think so, yeah, he's waited for his chance. He, he bowled really well for Sussex this year and um, I think it's, it's been a really good decision to play in this game because obviously the wicket has turned and uh, the spinners have been able to do the holding role um, to save the seamers for short, short bursts to make a bit of an impact. So I think the balance of the teams worked quite well um, and I so say it's time will tell who, who comes out best, but I think we've done really well the first three days. The longer you've been back this morning, and the more shots you get, did you find things much more comfortable, and do you think that's actually been more attacking towards the back of the than it might be? I think you have to choose your times and choose your time to grab, grab momentum. I mean, we were in a bit of a tricky position the last hour, last night, because no one can go out and have risk getting caught mid on with an hour to go type thing in a in a in a test match. So um, it was it was something that I could do sort of in a fresh day and, and that, but if I'd have batted last night there's no way I could have played like that. So you have to pick your times and I think this morning was a good opportunity to be able to do that, especially with the new ball just skidding on and, and not turning as much as the old one. Stuart, uh, since you spent some time at the uh, wicket batting what would you think would be a, a good score for the street Pakistan, a get-up-in score? Um, I mean, we don't want to be chasing much more than 250, I would have thought, um, because scoreboard pressure plays a huge role in, in test matches like this, and even if the wicket does get a little bit flatter, that's still a decent score. So um, we've got a ball exceptionally well tomorrow. That new ball is going to be key, but um, hopefully we can restrict them to about 200 and chase that down. Uh, but even even 150, 200 is going to be a bit of a nipper, I think. It's it's going to be tight test cricket, and I'm excited about what, what tomorrow holds. Stuart, you were out. Uh, you played very aggressively today. I just wondered if you 